So welcome back to our next session. In the next session, we will show you a bunch of short talks called lightning talks where people will have the chance for 10 minutes each to show their new and upcoming projects. The first one will be done by Aaron Glenn and Maximilian Wilhelm, and they will tell us about if up down ng. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. So we'll be talking about if up down ng and uh, why we're doing it. Skip a couple of slides here. So if up down ng is not a vanity project and it is not born out of not invented here type uh, things. It comes from field experience. So we were given a interesting opportunity where a network service provider had a big opportunity, but had some odd constraints. Uh, an uncommon in ISA, uh, MIP64, and equipment with some very old Linux kernels. And inside this network environment, it was very difficult, very complicated network interface configurations. So from this field experience, we generated quite a bit of strong opinions and decided it was time for a next generation if up down. From that, uh, next slide, please. From that, we have generated new code. Uh, we've called it if up down next generation. Um, it comes from the Alpine Linux uh, project, but it is uh, quickly becoming uh, more generalized. Uh, we hope to have Debian uh, support and even BSD support uh, come soon. Um, these complex configurations ended up being quite common. We've seen quite a few people interested in what we're doing, and we're hoping to move this from beyond just host-based networking into more of the disaggregated networking uh, situation. And Maximilian, who's written quite a bit of the code, will go into the technical details. Max? Okay. Um, what you skipped was that we built a, or tried to build a, a, a distribution for network services Linux, which is based on Alpine. And uh, that's why we came into the, the sphere of configuring network interfaces on a Linux distro. Um, Alpine Linux has uh, something that's not quite common. It has no standard glibc, it has uh, Musil. Um, and before version 3.13, it came with classical if up down one, some people may know from Debian, which is not state of the art today. So when we were unhappy, we had a look what is out there. You have the option to use IP route manually. You have two options to use if up down one or two, NetLand, Network Manager, etc. So there is a large universe out there for network configuration, but we try to focus on the if up down universe part, and there are mainly two comp compatible suits, which is the classical if up down one from Debian plus derivatives. Um, and then there is the version from Alpine, which is nearly the same as part of VisiBox. It's written in C, it's monolithic. It can be extended through some scripts by the uh, ETC network IF pre up, post up, whatever directory mechanism, but it, it's hard to extend in a nice way. Um, then there is if up down two from the Cumulus folks, which is available for Debian and derivatives too. It is written in Python and it's easy to extend. So what do we want it? Um, we want something to be compatible with if up down one and two, like a drop in ish replacement. It should, it should have support for contemporary features. It should be easy to extend and it should have a small footprint. So what did we build? Um, today, we have something where uh, Alpine and Debian is the primary supported environment because, well, Alpine of, because of the network services Linux, Debian because I'm involved and want to use it in Freifunk. Um, it should have feature parity with is up down one or it today has. Um, we have dependency resolution, so we know that we have to configure a physical interface, then maybe a VLAN, then maybe a bridge, and then maybe some VXLAN stuff. Um, it is easily extensible through executors, which currently are shell scripts. It has meaningful documentation, that's the point we really stress, and it is uh, included or will be included in Alpine 3.13 and in uh, Network Services Linux version 1. As Aaron said, we plan to add support for BSDs in the probably longer future, and we'll also add checking and reloading network configuration you might know from if up down two, which uh, comes in quite handy. And we plan also to move from shell scripts to using Netlink uh, directly. So what's the architecture? 
we uh, chose to write the core in uh, C. This contains the uh, lightweight config parser, which basically uh, converts the etc network interfaces files to uh, three tuples. Um, it has a compatibility layer to uh, if down one and two to map some names to more convenient ones, but you can use the old names like for tunnels, the endpoint and uh, local attributes, etc. It has the dependency resolution and uh, then the executors are required to do whatever is needed. Uh, currently written in shell, but could be written in Lua, Perl, Python, whatever you like, because they are just executed. Those uh, create, setup, teardown, links, tunnels, etc. configure IPs. As of today, um, we can configure static addresses, Batman, Bonds, Lags, VLAN and web bridges, DHCP, etc., etc. As you see, the list is quite long. And uh, I think we one of the, uh, or we are the only uh, if up down ish implementation which can configure WireGuard tunnels easily. So, what is uh, the outlook? In the near future, near future, we want to add check for configuration against the uh, sorry check for the running state against the configuration, like uh, if query dash dash check from if up down to. We want to add something like if reload, so reload the configuration and make the reality fix the new configuration without uh, with minimum impact as far as possible. Um, we're thinking about going to phase-wise execution or interleaved execution because sometimes you have interdependent things like configuring a bridge, adding an interface, and then go back to the interface and set VLANs on that interface. We want to go to native executors, which will be written in C and directly use Netlink, which will do the uh, checking and reloading easier. Um, and we want to support static routes on interfaces and policy-based route rules. And of course, we want to have uh, automated integration tests. So if I write some stupid code, the integration test will fail and we know that we should not ship this. And the plan is to uh, become a native Debian package. So this will be available in Debian and maybe Deribits. Let's see how that goes. Um, the future visions, we want to manage Wi-Fi interfaces as well. This might come in handy for uh, CPE devices or um, Raspberry Pis for network testing, etc. This is something which will come rather early, I think. And the long-term goal is to add an uh, if mondd, like if monitoring daemon, which will listen for Netlink events, so we know what happened if you manually added a USB, uh, sorry, if you manually configured IP addresses, if you plugged in a USB network card or removed one, and uh, maybe we can then uh, react on those events, configure stuff, deconfigure stuff like UDEF, but uh, for networking. Um, the code is on GitHub. We happily accept pull requests or issues, um, and the discussion will take place usually in our own IRC channel. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot now. Thank you. OK, actually, we have two minutes. So if anyone has a question, be very precise. Then you can have a shot now. OK, I'm not sure if that is a question because it's not prefixed, but Jan is asking, can we have this as systemd networkd plugin? No. Precise question, precise answer. And with that, we take, give over to the next session. Thank you. Thank you.